Hi, I'm Christy Prince-Hale, and today we're talking about how to hang sweaters so they don't get ruined. That would be a nightmare. The first thing I want to start with is just talking a little bit about hangers. I love these wood hangers. I know that the velvet hangers are really popular, but I love these wooden hangers because besides looking beautiful in a closet, they also provide ample space for each garment. And the reality is, is that clothes should not be crammed into a closet. They need space to breathe so that they, don't be, they won't be wrinkled or messed up when you take them out. So let me show you how to hang the sweaters so that they'll be ready for you. So we've got a great sweater here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work my hanger from the bottom up. And I like to concentrate on one side so that I don't stretch the sweater out. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my hanger and I'm going to one side here. I'm gonna put the side of the hanger in and next the neck and then the other side falls into place really, really easily. You can make any adjustments so that it's ready for the closet. But if you're worried about any type of creasing on the arms, you can always take some non-acid tissue paper and what you do is you just stick it right on in and line it on up down there. And what that will do is prevent any of that creasing that you might be worried about. If you're not hanging it in the closet for too long, then chances are you probably don't need the tissue paper. But it's a great tool to have in case you have sweaters that are prone to creasing. So there you have it. The sweater is ready for the closet. We won't have anything ruined. It'll be ready for us when we take it out. Thanks for joining me. I'm Christy Prince-Hale.